I guess because so many of our communities are struggling with social justice issues and communities of color especially have the social justice issues that are intersectional. And it's important for me to be able to be in that space, to be exposed to these conversations, to know the ways in which we support or we silence each other, and then also bring in Pacific Island representation, bring in this climate you know, angle that might not be necessarily there. So for me, it's really important to be exposed, to learn from other communities of color, to learn about their history and their issues, and also how we can support one another. The Marshall Islands, my country, is only two meters above sea level. And so our country is set to be the first to disappear because of the rising sea level. Um, there's no mountains, it's completely flat. And so we're one of the most vulnerable people in the world dealing with it. And so my work has been using poetry to share my perspectives on climate change, my own personal perspectives. Because I'm not a scientist, I'm not a politician. It's more about doing the emotional work, sharing the emotional impact of being an islander, you know, rooted to the land and seeing that land possibly disappear, you know, after thousands of years and generations. I think that from my perspective, a lot of environmentalism tends to be very white. And yet indigenous people have been fighting for the land and fighting against these kinds of concepts of, of capitalism and of, you know, taking and all of that. And they're just generally ignored, right? And so I think that what happened in my islands? 63 nuclear weapons detonated on our islands. You know, one is 1,000 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. Um, the loss of land that is impending, um, the loss of homes, all of this happens to us because people honestly don't care about our country. You know, there's a quote where they say 60,000 people are out there, who cares? You know, and so that's environmental racism, you know, and I definitely see uh, so many intersections with the issues that are happening here in the U.S. and what's happening to us in our homeland.